Hello everybody. John here with you today. Lisa is at work. I actually took a few days off this week and uh, coming toward the end of the year. The way I, my work works is if you don't take all of your vacation days, then by the end of the year you lose them all. So trying to squeeze in about three weeks here <laughs> toward the end of the year so uh today is wednesday i took uh the rest of this week off and the first couple days of next week right after halloween and uh thought i'd try to get out here and do a trail ride the last few videos that i've posted have been everything but a trail ride at a seat review which by the way I'm on my electric today and I am riding on that nice wide giddy up seat and uh, doing further testing on it seeing how I like it I'm using it on a uh, seat post today that has no shock don't go through this water I'm using it on a seat post that has no shock absorber so that I can get a true feel of you know what the seat feels like without any extra help but I wanted to get out today it's kind of later in the afternoon I um, wanted to get out earlier but if you can see the clouds up here uh, it's been looking threatening all day even though they said there wasn't a chance of rain today <clears throat> boy it missed a good chance I'll tell you unless it's going to rain a little bit later. <clears throat> so, I thought I'd try to get out here. We might get stuck out in the rain. We might not. Let's hope for the might not. <laughs> Like I said, I'm uh, out here on my electric today with the giddy up seat. I've got my side mirror on, which is which is good. Um, I was going to come out with the rat today, and uh, Lisa took my truck to work, and the key to it was in the truck. So I decided to bring the electric out, which actually. I probably should have thought about doing that anyway. I'm sure my electric kind of feels like the left out bike lately. I haven't ridden it much lately. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to get out and get a ride in on the electric. Test the seat out a little bit. And check out some of the leaves. Now, I don't know how it's been where most of you guys live, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm not ready for winter yet. <laughs> we had, uh, you know, we had a hot summer. The problem is it seemed like it rained all the time. And when it wasn't raining, it was so daggone humid. It was, uh, it was terrible to try to get out and do much. And then all of a sudden, right at the end of September, bam, cold snap. Down to 50s, you know, getting close to 30 at night. Um, I think we ended up having our first frost warning the first week of October, maybe. Leaves already started to turn. It's actually been about two weekends ago that I think the leaves were at their height in the uh, color. And now they're really starting to fall. But uh, I don't know. I just feel like winter's coming awfully fast. So I wanted to get out and do a trail ride. I haven't been on this trail in some time. Several months. So I wanted to get out and check it out. Um, see if anything's changed on it. Maybe we can see some nice leaves. Who knows what we'll see. That's always the fun thing about going on these trails. You never know what you're going to see, what you're going to run into. 
But yeah, it's so overcast today. I'm riding. At least whenever I was on the street, I still have it on. I've got my headlight and tail light on so cars can see me a little bit better. I've got my blinking my blinking light on on my seat. But uh <clears throat> Luckily, this uh, this tunnel is fairly lit, and I can see my light is pointing up at the ceiling. Let me adjust it. There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but it's out there, just on the on the road, about ten feet in front of me now. This light, this is, I'm on the uh, electric 1.0. Headlights are a little bit dim on these, which isn't a huge deal for me because, you know, I, I generally ride in the daytime. I really don't go out at night much. Um, if I do go out now at night, I would take the Rattan because it has a pretty good headlight on it. Just stock. And from what it sounds like, the uh, electric 2.0s are a little better than the original electric headlights as well. Go ahead and turn my lights off while I'm on the bike trail. But yeah, like I said, I was waiting for the rain. Trying to see if it was going to rain or not, because man, it sure looked like it was going to. I told my wife I was going to go out and ride today started getting laid on me so I figured man I just better go ahead and go for it don't want it to be a total waste today okay I see a tree down up here but it doesn't look like it's in the road I hope that uh, I hope the video is coming out okay today like I said the light is pretty low today with all the overcast yeah, that tree snapped off. Huh. I think some of this stuff was out here the last time I rode. That looks pretty old. They've sawed it up. But, uh, haven't done anything with it. By the way, the leaves are matted down. It looks like people's been out here walking. Now this past week has been nice. It's been in the 70s until today. You can see I've got a got a little jacket on. Threw on the first pair of gloves I could find so my fingers don't get cold. Didn't look at the temperature, but I'd say it's probably in the upper 50s. So a little bit nippy today. So one thing you have to pay attention whenever you're riding on, especially pavement with leaves, like today, the leaves are wet because it rained overnight, uh, some yesterday, a little bit early this morning. Um, leaves are wet, so when they're on this uh, pavement, it can be pretty slick. So if you're out riding this time of year, you want to take curves pretty slow. You don't want to lean too much. Try to stay as upright as you can so that your wheels don't slide out from under you on the leaves. So I'll try to take some of my advice. <clears throat> It looks like uh, there were a lot of leaves on the trees yesterday, but I guess that rain last night and this morning's kind of knocked a lot of them down. For those of you that haven't uh, watched some of my older videos, this trail goes from Fairmont, West Virginia. and it, This is heading north. It goes out of town north to 
little place called Prickett's Fort. And there's an old uh, Civil War era fort down here. And during the summer they do all kinds of things. Uh, blacksmithing. You can go in and tour the place. It's kept up really nice. But this is the trail closest to our house. Um, the easiest to get to, I guess, without loading our bikes up and taking them someplace. to see the actual path with all these leaves down. Try to step it up a bit. I don't know if the camera is quite picking up my uh, screen on my bike or not, but I've got a pedal assist too. I'm actually pedaling faster than the motor. So the motor is not helping me right now. Hi. Yeah, the motor is not helping me right now, so I could actually put it down into first if I wanted, or zero actually. Right through here, <clears throat> I was coming down a small grade, hardly noticeable. Once you hit this spot, it's almost dead flat. So I am going to go ahead and get a little bit of motor help because my huge frame along with this bike weight <laughs> is a lot to pedal unless you uh, really have to I'd kind of stay away from that as much as possible <clears throat> so yeah like I said before it's been a while since I actually did a trail ride did a couple videos out at my uh, my father's farm, kind of riding in the dirt road to the farm. Did another video from the old farmhouse on out the dirt road to a little uh, little lake where we used to fish when I was younger. And then I did uh, this, the the uh, giddy up seat reviews video. And then we just posted, I guess yesterday, I guess uh, Monday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, posted a video of our little ride around my uh, mother's family farm. And Lisa hadn't seen the back part. Um, you know, we've been in there to the beginning of it, and up to my, one of my uncle's house and kind of stopped there never did go out past any of the fences so we had to be in that area and i thought that it would be a good time to get the bikes out and just kind of take her around the farm a little bit a little easier than loading up our four-wheelers uh, plus i thought it would since we were going to be out there on the bikes i wanted to test them on some of those hills and I don't know if any of you saw that video about the uh, ride on the family farm, my last video, but man, there are some steep hills now. I'm not talking road hills. These are grass mountain hills, and they are steep. And uh, 
I was riding my Rattan, which is more powerful than this electric, but I still really had a lot of reserve. I, I didn't know if, or I had a lot of reservations. I didn't know if I'd be able to make it up some of those hills. But to my pleasant surprise, man, that thing went right up those hills. I had to pedal and help it, but uh, no problem getting up. That was shocking. So one thing that doing that video and doing that ride showed me was, you know, getting close to the limit of a hill that I could go up on that rat. And Lisa was able to make it up on the electrics. But I can tell you right now, there is no way I would have made it up on, on this electric. Just doesn't quite have the power for a 300 pounder like me. So, for those that, of you that haven't seen my older videos, this is Prickett's Fort. And they've got, uh, got some buildings here. They actually rent those. You can uh, come and do wedding uh, rehearsal or weddings, wedding receptions. They also have, let's see, some restrooms over here. They've got an amphitheater behind that building right in front of us. Never been to a show there. But there's uh, little buildings inside the fort that look very similar to what we're riding toward now. You know, log type houses. And those are original. Uh, original log cut houses, axe cut. Um, pretty cool stuff. This is a blacksmith shop, so during the summertime or whenever they have it open and running, they have people in here in period clothing. And they go down in here and they actually do some blacksmithing. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, just looking around a little bit <laughs> oh i'm telling you what it decided to go out for a ride i didn't know if i should chance it or not it's kind of kind of scary looking where are you riding in from <laughs> fairmont, fairmont okay. I'm not super yeah i just came down the rail trail there mm -hmm. yep just puttering around a little bit <laughs> have a good one yeah <laughs> So there is a guy there. <laughs> I don't know if uh, I don't know if he is getting stuff ready for the weekend. There's a chain across the door, so you can't go in. Guess I should have asked him. Uh, we're going to be busy this weekend. Want to do a little bit of tooting my daughter's horn, a little brook. She. Uh, She's in seventh grade this year. It's her second year in volleyball. And uh, her volleyball team this year has made the tournaments. Uh, they're number two in the conference. And we have the conference tournament on Saturday. And uh, she's on the varsity team. So uh, we'll be at those tournaments pretty much all day on Saturday, I would imagine. But uh, anyway, that's a quick look at the park. The uh, trail goes on down here. I don't think I'm going to go too much farther today. Uh, I just don't know about these clouds in the sky. I don't want to get caught too far from the house. Um, they do have this one little shelter here in case it rains. I actually got stuck down here with it raining one time. I mean, pretty hard. And I was able to go in there and sit. And uh, have my wife, Lisa, come down and pick me up with the truck. That was a long ride that I did that day. I came from Morgantown to Fairmont. That was about... Uh, that was about a 25 or 6 mile ride on this electric. 
so yeah it was a pretty good ride I'm gonna try to step it up and go a little bit faster going back I said earlier my wife took my truck today to work with her she was going to pick up some stuff from her sister and bring down to the house so that we could store some of it in our garage her sister's son is moving and uh, he had had some stuff of hers and they aren't going to have room for it where they're moving to so I need to make sure I'm at the house when she gets back with a load of stuff so we can get it unloaded and hopefully get it done before any rain comes if any does come. But I've got a planned ride. Uh, tomorrow is my sister's birthday and I am going, well, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video. Maybe I better not say all of that in case she sees the video. But anyway, I have a uh, trip planned. Well, heck, I might as well tell you now. Well, I wanted to get out on the trail today to get a trail ride in. I've got a got a ride planned for this weekend um, it's gonna head back down to where I grew up down close to the New River Gorge Bridge a little town called Mount Hope it's right between Beckley and Oak Hill West Virginia a little small town but I thought I'd uh, maybe get a little ride in while I'm there around town um, Mount Hope is an interesting town. There's an interesting story behind it. Um, the situation that the t little town is in now compared to what it used to be. And then I wanted to show a surprise. I think I might call it looking for the fountain of youth. A little hint. I'm going to try to see if I can find a spot where we, or where I call it the little fountain of youth. Anyway, that'll be my next video. And that's going to be another trip around a little town. So I wanted to get a, a trail ride in just to get a regular, regular type video in. Talk to everybody. And uh, kind of see what was going on out this trail. Wasn't too much on leaf color today. But that's all right. Get some exercise in. Enjoy my day off. <laughs> like I said on a couple of my earlier videos, there is nothing like getting out on a bike and riding trails. To me, riding in a car back and forth to work was a time where I could kind of zone out in my head, do some thinking, clear my brain, uh, you know, and just have a little time to decompress but that does not hold a candle to getting out on these trails and it's great when my wife's with me because then we can do it together but there's something a little different when you're by yourself you don't necessarily have to carry on a conversation it's nice to be able to share what you're seeing with someone else, but it's also nice to have that little bit of time to uh, gather your thoughts, do some thinking, do some planning. Just get up into the, breathe in the nice fresh air. 
maybe meet a blacksmith or two like I did today. <laughs> you never know what you're going to run into. So. I haven't charged this bike in months. <laughs> And I can see the energy bar is down below half. But like I said, this part of the trail, and we're getting close to the end, closer to town, it starts to go up. So you definitely need a little bit of help with the motor going up. So it's it's just kind of draining, draining some of that bar. But it's got a little bit more steam in it than what it's showing right now get a true reading you have to stop give it a minute or so and it'll build it back up even the volts there is showing about 45 and it's been so long since I talked about all this stuff I can't remember if it kind of goes dead at 42 or if it's 44 but, like I said, it reads low as you're riding. Once you let off of it, it goes back up a bit. Well, I tell you what, my fingers are both of them are tingling. I think I must have been... Uh, Rest on a little bit more weight on my hands than I usually do. Try to lay off of them just a little bit. See if that helps. Yeah, they're starting to get some feeling back in. back to the tunnel Got a little deer here Could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen a deer out on this trail before. This is the time around here where you'll start seeing deer in places you don't normally see them. The groundhog. Uh, here in West Virginia, it's bow season right now, so. There's people out in the woods deer hunting. Yeah, you know, they walk in and out of the woods with their bows and stuff, tromping around. It gets deer to move, and uh, they'll start kind of getting out of the places where they've been hiding a lot of the summer. So you've got to be very careful when you're driving, especially at nighttime in a car, especially out on country roads because they will pop up everywhere that you just don't expect them to be. All right, now it's been a while since I've had to go up this hill on electric. I've had my ratting for so long, riding it up this hill. Um, and this one just doesn't, like I said, doesn't have the power, so I've got to really do some heavy pedaling up the hill. Let me see where these cars are behind me. Yeah. Let's hit it. This bike is 
really got to start gearing down. And the cars are right behind me. Let me pull off. Like I've told you before, cars kind of push bicycles here. Oh crap. Here comes another one. Uh, yeah, they don't they don't show you much mercy. That's a really blind curve in that hill, which makes it even worse. And I tell you, yeah, that's a lot better coming up with the ratting. I can do it on this one. But it's a heck of a lot more work. Ah, lordy. My thighs are burning. See, this is why I wanted to come a little earlier starting to get off work. <laughs> I want to avoid all this traffic. Not that it's a lot compared to some places, but and it's not quite rush hour yet, but it close. turned off that guy was going to say something to me <laughs> pulled right up beside me and started matching my speed I was kind of wondering what he was doing see it's getting close to Halloween We're starting to get some Halloween decorations up it's been about three or four days now uh, anyway thanks for uh, thanks for watching everybody thank you to all you new subscribers over the last few months last time I checked I think I'm about four three or four subscribers away from a thousand which <laughs> I want to thank everybody for that it's uh, kind of amazing not kind of amazing it's very amazing I never thought so many people would enjoy watching watching my videos as I've said on previous videos you know, I didn't start, like a lot of YouTube people don't really start, you know, looking at subscriptions and things like that. But the one thing that it does is it, it kind of, uh, kind of lets you know that people like what you're doing. And, uh, along with all the comments that I get and the likes on the videos, that helps out a ton. But I really love... Uh, getting comments I had a great comment um, last week guy that was in about 300 pounds 
um, saying that uh, my videos gave him inspiration to get a couple bikes for he and his wife and now they're out riding and loving it so uh, you know that stuff about brings a tear to my eye I just love hearing that that was always kind of my main purpose was to let people know that you're never too old and you're never too big too heavy to get out here and start enjoying the outdoors with the invention and the, the improvements that they've made on electric bikes lately I mean it just opens up a whole new world for people to get out and I love it so again thank you to everybody really 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 appreciate everybody so uh, I'll try to get this posted up fairly soon I'm gonna do another ride this weekend but until then I hope everybody has a great evening God bless and hope to see you on the next video